Oh, this is another coaster. This was the one that I was thinking of. Oh, I put in the wrong coaster, no. What's up guys, and welcome back to Planet Coaster. Now last episode, we made a lot of progress with the upper part of our ship. We put a lot of rides around the curvy scurvy, and people are loving it. There are people everywhere. There's also trash everywhere, which is an issue, and our employees keep quitting. And I haven't put in any decorations, so there's still a whole lot of grass. We have a lot to do, okay? With this episode, I'm not going to be really worrying about any of that kind of stuff, because I want to start focusing on the other end of the ship. I want to kind of even out the experience, because people are really focusing on this half of the ship, where all of the stuff is pretty much and because of that there's a lot of congestion and all of the issues that come with that so i think we really need to develop this end i've also kind of uh, fixed the ship a little bit made it a little bit bigger you can kind of see that the um light line one cuts into it a little bit which i'm fine with because it gives us a whole bunch more space up here hopefully we're gonna be able to put some rides up here and then kind of coerce some people to come down towards this end of the ship I'm really excited for this episode because I found a lot of pirate-based stuff on the workshop. The pirate theme isn't very well represented in the game, and they haven't been adding a whole lot more for it recently, but people have been creating a lot of their own things, and a lot of it is crazy. Like, there, look at this giant pirate dock. Like, that's insane! It's so big that I don't even really have a place to put it on my ship, but that kind of stuff is the stuff that I want to work into the ship eventually, but I think the main thing that I want to put down here is another coaster. I saw that there was a uh, pirate-themed inverted condensed coaster. Uh, no, I don't, I don't want it down there. Yeah, if I can fit that in here somewhere, just to get it right, I, like, I'm not gonna put it there necessarily, but I think we can make it work, right? I think a, a coaster would definitely be able to convince a lot of people to come down here. And I know a lot of people have been telling me that they want to see a water ride because it's a pirate park, it only makes sense to have a water ride. But the problem with the water rides are they take up a lot of space. Like, you can't have them doing loops and kind of going around and in between themselves and stuff like that. It's pretty much a river. So I could make one going around the outside of the ship, but it wouldn't really, like, have any turns or anything to see. People wouldn't ride it. It wouldn't be interesting. So I can't really make it work with the design of the park right now. But I will try in the future. Right now, I definitely want to see if we can make this work. I mean, look at all the little stuff. It's floating awkwardly there now. But I think we will be able to make it work. I'm not totally sure where people... Oh, people get on up here. What? How are people supposed to get up here? First of all, let's get rid of that. We don't need that in our way anymore. And then I need to figure out how exactly to spin this thing. What else did I find? Whoa, okay, that's something else that I found. <laughs> A pirate themed village. Look at that, that is crazy. It's absolutely massive. I definitely wanna put that somewhere too, but uh, this is what we're looking at right now. So I'm gonna get rid of all those support structures because they bug me. But uh, I think people enter Hmm, probably over, no, that that's the back. I guess people enter over here, so that needs to be the front. Okay, I can probably make that work. Uh, we're gonna have a whole bunch of it coming off the ship, but I think that's fine. It's gonna have to go down to water level-ish. That actually fits really well with like the broken ship in the water and stuff like that. I need to get it off the path is the only issue. It's gonna take me a long time to make it so that everything isn't floating because I think whoever built this didn't build it on flat land by the looks of it because I can't move the whole thing down or else the coaster is in the ground. So maybe I was supposed to dig out here? I don't know, it just makes everything a lot more difficult but uh, I moved the ship over so that people walk through it. I think that looks pretty good. We now have the path clear. But moment of truth, I need to put an entrance and an exit on this thing or it's kind of pointless. And it does look like they have like a place for stairs to go here. So, you know what, we can give it a try. Building these queues is not always the easiest, but you never know. Okay, yeah, that does fit well. Um, maybe I can make it turn and go over here, right? If I do, are you kidding me? Wow, whoever built this, it actually fits perfectly. That is unreal. 
I was impressed already, but I am just extra impressed now. Look at this. So, I might need to move some things around, you know, gingerly, but we're on the ground. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to leave that there for now. So, that's going to be our queue. A little bit long. Hopefully, people don't really mind. Eh, you know what? Screw them. Get the feeling the exit won't be quite as easy. Um, no, unless, no, that's gonna intersect, so you need to be like that, and then over, and then maybe just straight down, to be perfectly honest. I might just do, uh, yeah, like straight down. Just stairs, oh, come on, really? What? Why? Why can't I put, it's, it's not that high. I can put roller coasters that close to my queue, but I can't put other stairs. Are you kidding me? All the way down? Okay. That looks decent. Yeah, it doesn't really stand out too much. Once I put some trees and stuff in the way, I think that's gonna look really good. Especially once we get all the stuff that isn't floating. There was like a, a food place back here and stuff like that. They had everything planned out. Actually, now that I think about it, I could keep that food place here and I could just make the path wind in and have the queue start here. That might be a good idea rather than having the queue go even longer and all the way down. So let me try that. What if we take a path and we're just going to shimmy on in through here? Don't mind me. Oh no, I built my stairs in the wrong place. Uh, I can probably, yeah, we can make it work. I can move the fences around a little bit. It's not perfect, but I think it will have to do for now. Like I said, I would rather not spend like an hour while recording, fine tuning all this stuff, but the idea being this path is what's gonna encompass my actual path. Like all of these decorations and stuff like that are gonna look really good. I'm really impressed with this thing. I don't know what this is supposed to lead to. Maybe I'll put something here like toilets or um, first aid or something like that, because I don't know how well, this coaster would perform. Yeah, it doesn't tell us. We need to test it. Ooh, if we're gonna test it, I want to ride. Okay, um, hold on. First, I need to hit play, and then we're gonna ride. Oh, it's one of these ones where you hang. I'm an actual milk jug guy. Whoa, whoa, okay, this is crazy. I don't know this one because I didn't build it, so I have no idea what to expect. Oh yeah, that that's a pretty big drop right off my giant ship. <laughs> oh man, these upside down ones are intense. Okay, I don't know where the tunes came from, wow. It's really cool to see such a condensed coaster. Not very long, but uh, yeah, that was cool. So how did it do? Pretty good, 7.45. Five and a four, we might be able to improve the nausea just a little bit, and then it would be a, practically a perfect ride. So let me think, what else did I find on the workshop? What was this? This was, um, oh. Oh, this is another coaster. This was the one that I was thinking of. Oh, I put in the wrong coaster, no. I'm such an idiot. This was the coaster that I was thinking of. This is a very condensed coaster, right? And it's built around these rocks. Actually, now that I think about it, it kind of has that stucco look to it to the uh, middle of the park. Maybe we'll have a third coaster? Hmm, I, I really want to see if I can make that fit now. You know what? I think if I trim this down ever so slightly, we might be able to make it fit. A lot of these rocks are just, yeah, see that's the thing, the rocks don't fit, right? I don't have a lot of rocks around this part of the map. Hmm, we might have to think about that. The grog wash might have to wait, but there are a bunch of other things that I had found. Most of them are just little shops and stuff like that. Just things that we can use for uh, selling things in. The giant pirate dock. There's another pirate dock that's a little bit more manageable. I might be able to like put that somewhere as well because I do need to put a lot more decorative stuff down here. Pirate Harbor. Yeah, that looks awesome. Again, you know, you can't really have the Kraken scene and then a, a harbor six feet away. It doesn't quite work that well in my eyes, but maybe I can change it so that it looks like the Kraken is attacking a dock at some point. That would look pretty cool. What else have we got? Uh, pirate themed village. Yeah, I already saw that. That's pretty big and insane. There's so many things that I want to put here. 
Right, I found a couple more stucco ones, which is good because we do have a bunch of empty spaces. So maybe this one can go right around here. What are you? Oh, you're not even a store. You're just decorative. Okay, yeah, that's cool. I mean, I can turn you into a store, but I'm probably just going to drop you down right around uh, obstructed. I mean, oh, stupid thing is in the way. Okay, we'll, we'll move you down a little bit. How about that? Like that? You good? Okay. Uh, Gulpy Energy 29 is not accessible from the park entrance. Gulpy Energy 29? What is... What the hell? There is a Gulpy Energy. Oh, you're way in there. <laughs> you're hidden away. Okay. Um... That's kind of cool, actually. Very, I, I, I don't really like it, to be honest. I like having all my storefronts right at the beginning, but we can make it work. Yeah, there we go. All we needed to do was add a path and people can walk right on in. I kind of want a sign on it, though. Like, I know that it looks piratey and stuff like that, but I'm still a sellout. I still want people to know that it's a gulpy place. Energy time, energy time, energy time. New, 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 new. We also have a giant glowing sign on the front. I feel like it's the perfect mix of commercialism and pirate theme. I think that'll fit well. So there's a couple of other things that I found as well. What, what's going on? Uh, vendor has quit. Vendors have quit. I'll deal with you guys later, okay? I just, I don't have the patience to deal with that right now, but I'm sure there were a couple of other things, right? This is the one that we put there last time, right? The toilets? Yeah, we used that one already. Uh, shops for Shipwreck Cove. Oh yeah, that would look really good down here actually, because I do want to make this kind of a, a broken ship area. So what if we put something like that over here? What is this, a toilet, an infirmary, an ATM? Yeah, all this stuff is super important. So we could probably back it all the way up to the coaster, I would imagine, right around there. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, lots of important stuff down here. Okay, we might need to put a pause on building because my park is falling apart. There is garbage everywhere. The curvy scurvy is broken down. Everybody is pissed. Okay, what is going on with these employees? Put a pause on things. Um, you guys had said that I missed it last episode. Staff. Okay, well, either way, we're going to hire a janitor to go up here. And we're going to hire a repair worker to go up here. Those guys can just ominously float in the air for a few minutes. Here it is, okay. So I think what I wanna do is just train everybody. It'll make everybody happier and then they'll be able to manage larger workloads and I don't really need to worry about money that much. We only have uh, four entertainers, three janitors, whole bunch of vendors, three mechanics. Okay, hopefully now people will be slightly happier, right? Scruffy, please, for the love of God, get rid of all the garbage. It is everywhere, it's taking over. You can go in the exit, man. You, you, it's all yours, you run the place. As long as you get it up and going, there you go. These people have been waiting here for probably days. Before I start putting buildings and stuff in, I think I wanna make sure that there aren't any more rides that I might need. I mean, I would like to have a bunch of rides down here because otherwise, if there's just a coaster, people aren't gonna come down here for shops and stuff like that. You have to have a couple of different rides. So what have I not used yet? Uh, I don't think I've used the rock to puss, right? And that fits well with the theme. So maybe I can uh, spin you around. Uh, oh, this is a little bit weird. There we go, okay. I want to try to have that pointing out, and then can you fit? Uh, ooh, ooh, you might just barely fit. Ah, did it lump out the thing? I'm not totally sure. This side of the ship isn't quite perfect yet, and it is going to have like a cut in it because I can't move light line one without rebuilding it, and I really don't want to, but it's fine. It's the side that people don't look at because everybody comes in over there, right? So we have one more ride. I think there was a couple of more rides that I hadn't quite used yet. What's this? The Helion Ring. Yeah, we haven't used that before. That might be able to fit uh, somewhere. I feel like it might look a little bit awkward there, right? Because, mm, no, you know what? I kind of like it. We technically already used this blueprint down at the other end of the ship, but I really like the way that it looks. It just fits perfectly with all the broken ships, and it, it just gives you so many things. So we're gonna keep an ATM here, but we don't need more information. We don't need more toilets. We don't need another infirmary. So maybe we can just kind of fill it with um, 
Actually, I don't even know what we really need down here. There's toilets there. There's a uh, first aid there. That's a swag shop that's closed because everything is closed because everybody keeps quitting. <laughs> so what do we want to put here? I'm trying to think of what we have a lot of in the park so that I can kind of even it out. There isn't a whole lot down here, so I can go with most things, but like we have lots of gulpy places. They're all over the place. Information, cosmic cow, stuff like that. Missy Good. I don't even know what Missy Good is, come to think of it, so what are you? Oh, you're donuts. Okay. Yeah, that'll fit well there. What else do we have? Mr. Fries, uh Pip Shot Juice. Okay, Pip Shot Smoothie. Ooh, Pip Shot Water. Oh, this is gonna be a Pip Shop right now. That's perfect. So we'll put one Pip Shop there and another Pip Shop right there. Uh, do I really need an ATM? Yeah, you know what, I probably do. That's fine, we'll put another. Actually, you know what, we'll put you somewhere else, Missy Good. You can go away and I'm gonna make this three Pip Shops. So we have water, we have juice, and we have, uh, what else, water, smoothies. Or is that smoothies? That's probably smoothies. This is probably juice. There we go. We have the Pip Shop Shop. I'll give them all a little bit of pirate shade and uh, I'll leave the ATM. You know what? I've already seen a few people go to it. People need money all over the place to give it to me. So that looks great. Very, very happy with it. I love that you can kind of transform things. Are there any, like I haven't even heard of the Pip Shop before. Are there any Pip Shop signs? Like, could I put one or two on the top? Because like I said, I like to kind of represent everything as what it is. Signs, um, even if we had like one of these little signs that we could put down like here, one of these street signs. Well, it looks like people are shopping here anyway, which is good because there are no pip shop signs for any of them. Really weird. Why would the developers make signs for everything else except for this one brand of store? It just makes it stand out. I, I guess that's why I've never seen anybody use it in the workshop or like in videos or stuff like that. It's just the undesirable shop. Oh well, either way, it looks good. Has overgrowth on it and stuff like that. Seems to fit in well. So, is there anything else that we can add down here? I mean, I should probably put like cues and stuff like that. Oh yeah, I haven't even opened this coaster yet. Uh, yeah, well, let's try to do that. I think all I really needed to do was connect the exit, right? I just got sidetracked with something or other, but it looks like it's good now, right? We have a key, we have an entrance, we have an exit. Uh, coaster has been tested. I can just hit open. There we go, open, okay. And then all this stuff is already open. Uh, let's open you up as well, right? Put your entrance over here out of the way. Exit can go in the front. Yeah, hopefully this will actually entice some people to come down here. You never really know with this game, to be honest. How big is this ride? Uh, a couple dozen people, maybe? Hmm, not sure how big I want this queue to be. Maybe I'll have it, uh, ah, oh God, I didn't leave myself with a whole lot of space down here. Okay, here's what we can do. How about we move this a little bit further into the back so that it's just a little bit out of the way, and then the entrance can be a little further back as well. And if I connect the queue that way, let me see here. Yeah, that, that should do, that should be long enough, I would imagine. And if not, people can go ahead and complain. It opened itself. Okay, so 1% of people, I want to go on the Helion Ring. 1%, good enough. So now we need to get the Roctopus up and running. Oh, it's facing the wrong direction. I probably don't need to test you either, hey? I mean, how many people would die on something called the Roctopus? That would be an embarrassing obituary to say the least. So we can put an exit uh, right around there. Oh yeah, this, this will be great. I really want to see people come down to this end of the park. Hopefully it'll actually work. I'm trying to think of a name that would go with Kraken because it is down in Kraken Bay, right? So it only makes sense. Maybe I'll just call it like the Hacken Kraken. The Slacken Kraken doesn't really work. Yeah, the Hacken Kraken, you know what, that'll work. And people are actually managing to find their way up the queue. And it looks really good too. Man, super impressed with this. I'm so happy that I don't have to be the one to build this stuff because this would have taken me a million years. 
But that's gonna be it for this episode of Planet Coaster, guys. We're getting there. You know what? The park is actually coming along. We do have that other condensed coaster that I really want to try to put somewhere. I'm not sure where. I can remove all of the scenery if it doesn't fit somewhere, but physically, I want to try to squeeze it in somewhere. I feel like the more coasters we have, the cooler it would be. So if you have any recommendations of where I might be able to put it, be sure to let me know. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.